Hi, my name is Jason Woods and welcome to Chasing the Apex. But behind me, I have an Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio. Now, this is special, right? This is emotion, passion, it's Jekyll and Hyde, it's art, it's just freaking amazing. Hi, my name is Jason Woods and welcome to Chasing the Apex. So I am in a 2017 Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio. Now, here's my initial impressions, right? When I first look at it, you know, I think, oh my God, that's gorgeous, right? And so we're looking at a four-door saloon, but it's also, I mean, this is important to note, it's a V6 twin turbo monster. Now it has four, I repeat, four driving modes, and they all work amazing. So you're looking at all weather, natural, dynamic, right? And then finally race. And it's one of the very few cars I've ever been in where they all work. You turn this girl into race, and all of a sudden you have an absolute monster. I'm literally commuting it to work right now. And so we're reviewing very early in the morning. Um, you can see some of the shots that were that were you know taken very early in the morning. And you know, honestly, I'm absolutely blown away. So as I take it through this first twisty bit of road, right? I mean, the reality is, and I'm currently in all weather because it's wet, but last night I had it in dynamic and race and it was like a Jekyll and Hyde. You know, you put it into race and it immediately came alive and all of a sudden, you know, the rear end starts swinging around like a madman. So, I mean, that by itself conjures an emotion where the driver is like, holy crap, this car is passion personified. Now, there's an old saying, right? And that's if you haven't owned an Alpha, you're not a real petrol head. Well, this car definitely puts that to the test, right? If you haven't given this one a shot, you, you must look. Just the sound itself is intoxicating. You know, the interior is beautiful, right? It's a mix of carbon fiber and Alcantara everywhere. And you can you could daily drive this and love every bit of it. This is, it's just a rare breed. And without a doubt, again, I am so privileged to be in the driver's seat here. And so as I move through this next set of corners, because that's all I really want to do, I really don't even want to go into work, I just want to go chase corners in this. The Even in the wet, I want to go play. And that's the emotion this conjures. And it's rare I feel like that, right? It's rare that I get into a car and I just haven't had enough. But this one's doing it. This one is absolutely spectacular. Even with all the bad reviews that were saying, hey, it's problematic, I, I, I think those are worked out. I mean, the paddle shifters are absolutely phenomenal. They're on the stock, which means no matter where you are, you know, in a corner, you can grab a gear. Why? Because they're big enough too. They're aluminum and I love them. I, God, this thing is amazing. And this is something that Alfa Romeo does brilliantly. You know, they make art, right? And this is Ferrari inspired. And I gotta give you guys a shot of this engine because good God, this thing is just like so immaculately put together. I mean, you wanna frame it and put it on a wall and that's what you wanna do with this engine. And it, it's an absolute monster, just a monster. 505 horsepower. 505 horsepower and then they gave it to you right they're like yeah go drive it as a daily take your kids to school and the Italians as always just blow me away and this is where the Americans get it wrong right Americans worry about straight line speed they worry about big engines and smoking tires euros don't care about it they want to go flog something on a twisty bit of road. That's what they want to do. That's what they're going to do. And they love it. And God bless you Europeans for making these types of cars. Just God bless you.
So what I think happened here is Alfa Romeo said, what's the best that the Italian manufacturers bring? Because we aren't playing. We're gonna bring the best to you. And you know what? Yeah, it's gonna be flawed at first, but it is not flawed currently. This thing is absolutely brilliant. But what I think, again, what I think Alfa Romeo did is, is what's the best that Ferrari does? What's the best that Lamborghini does? What's the best that we do? You know what? Let's all wrap it all into one and show the Germans how it's done. And just truly a phenomenal job. So final thoughts, right? I'm on my way to work. And frankly, I've done like four or five laps. And they're not really laps, but I've definitely done four or five runs down this road. And I don't want to give it back. Just the sound of the engine itself. The exhaust note and the experience of the engineering that went into this. And really, they, they went after it. There's some perfection in this. You know, there's some perfection in the imperfection. And I, I love it. I just, I adore it. And I, I can't encourage you enough. I, if, if I could own another car, like if I, if I could, like if I had room, this would absolutely be in my stable. Well, if I had room and I had money. Because, you know, the fact of the matter is, it's a weapon at its price point. But for me, the normal guy that goes to work, you know, I can do one car in my garage. So thanks for watching Chasing the Apex. And uh, I'm going to go have some fun before I go to work. You guys have a great week. And we'll see you next week. So thanks for watching Chasing the Apex. And thanks again to YC Auto Group for providing us with these amazing, amazing pieces of work. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week.